everybody. I'm out fishing today. Uh, fishing hasn't been that great today. We're at the end of January and the water temp is still very cold. Uh, but weather-wise, temperature, it's great. I mean, we're at right at 70 today. The sun is shining and I'm thankful for that. So it reminds me of a verse that I read this morning. It's one of the shortest verses in the Bible. It's 1 Thessalonians 5, 16, and it says, rejoice always. Two words, even I can remember that, rejoice always. Now the following verses with that is pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Now Paul is writing this letter to the Thessalonian church and he tells us that this is God's plan uh, for our lives. But he's not only telling us what God's will is, he's also telling us how to carry out God's will. And in this instance, it's three things, rejoice, pray, and give thanks. Those three things, rejoice, pray, give thanks. Have you ever been around someone who is always positive no matter what the situation is? I have, and I'm gonna be honest, at times, I was annoyed at that. I'm thinking, how can you be so positive when these bad things are happening to us or to you or around us? And so, um, it just baffled me. But these verses I read, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances. Let me say it again, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Paul's not writing and telling us to be thankful for everything. He was saying be thankful in everything. So things like death and your car broke down or you've lost your job, uh, those aren't good things, but we can be still we can still be thankful in those things. You know, I'll work on this with myself every day. Uh, for years, I've always had the try to look at the negative side of things and I'm trying to flip my mindset to find that positive in each situation and to where I can be thankful in everything, not for everything, but be thankful in everything. So even though fishing wasn't great today, um, I got to spend time outside in God's creation. The sun is shining. Like I said, it's at the end of January and we're 70 degrees. I'm thankful for that. So it's amazing. Let me say a prayer. Father, thank you for the time I get to spend outdoors in your creation. Help us keep our minds on your son, Jesus. Keep us away from negative thinking and fill our hearts with gratitude. Amen. Thank you, everybody. If, if you enjoy this, we're going to keep doing them, kidding myself. But if you enjoy this, hit that subscribe, like, and that ring, uh, that bell notification. That way you're notified when we do upload new videos. And uh, we'll keep putting them out there. Thank you. God bless.